it's hard to respect Christianity when they're obviously selling out to agendas. Well, yes, I think, which is why we need a 21st yeah. century crusade. Let's go, so, Deus vol. So guys, if you are somebody who trains like me when I'm doing boxing, when I'm jogging, when I'm doing bodybuilding, this can benefit you. It's Shilajit from Nature's Blends. As you guys know, I get my honey, my black seed oil, and many other supplements from them. It has 86 plus minerals, including zinc, magnesium, selenium, fulvic acid, 59%, fully lab tested, the highest in the market. Boost testosterone levels, boost energy levels, and safe for men and women. So check out Nature's Blends in the description box and enjoy it. Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. So we're going to react to this video of these two chaps. I don't have you seen these guys before? I have, yeah. I have. They keep popping up here and there. You they know? do. So let's watch it for ourselves because this guy on the left uh, makes a comment. Let's see why he wants. Is he to on take. the far left? He's on the manhood of the mushrikeen. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Let's uh, watch, inshallah. Chase is a deeply religious. I had no what idea. You, you said you had no idea what? I had no clue you were so religious. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Jesus oh. is the real deal, man. Are you, uh, you know what, you're, you're close with the Tates. Chase is like <laughs> on a crusade Real. To, to bring Andrew to back to Christian Christianity. Yes. Good. Oh, instead of Islam. Yeah, that's what, well, that's what Chase told me, right? Yes, yes. And he tweets I, about it a bunch. I want to I wanna bring Tate to the truth, man. Oh, man. That's a conversation for you and Tate. Cal, you do you mind if I bring something up? Yeah. In regards to you switching Tate over, I think your best bet is to start with getting Christianity to actually stand behind the religion. Yes. These gay flags in front of churches, yep. not that I'm against gays, but that's not with the religion. Yep. The things that the Christianity is allowing is making Christianity lose in a lot of ways to Islam. Yep. And I think that's the basis right now for Christianity to return is to get back to the backbone in the actual religion and not being socially correct with people. I, I totally you and I are a hundred percent on the same page, bro. Absolutely. One of the phenomenons, I'm sorry, I got to say this. Yeah. One of the phenomenons that is driving so many people towards Islam right now is Christianity being, kind of bitching being out. Being weak. Yeah, yeah, dude, bro. You, you look, you, you go on Twitter, they've got trans people literally dancing inside of churches right. across the West. Mm -hmm. right. What is that? It's a huge departure from the word of God and it's it's really fascinating to watch too because so many young dudes watch Tate and they look up to Tate and they see Tate saying hey Islam is more based than Christianity is and so they're following Tate into Islam yep. my problem with it is because when you when you object I believe when you objectively pursue truth you end up at Jesus and a lot of these people they're looking at Islam not as what is the most true religion but what is the most based religion I believe Christianity. Right. Well, it's like what religion do they respect the most? Yes. And that's the problem. It's hard to respect Christianity when they're obviously selling out to agendas. Well, yes. I think Which is why we need a 21st yeah. century crusade. Let's go. So, Deus vol. Okay. So in a nutshell, there's something that he made, which is a true statement, is that he says that people are following Islam, not because it's a true religion, but because it's got, you know, it's, it's pragmatic, it works, and you know, because it's, uh, uh, it has traditional values, etc. Which is true, and we say that, we actually say that statement is more true on our side. Why? Because the point I was trying to make is, if, I don't think Andrew Tate came for that reason, and even if he did come for mm -hmm. that reason, you know, Allah, we, we believe that God Almighty works in mysterious ways. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to give so many gifts and camels and wealth to the Bedouins to soften the heart towards Islam. This is from our, uh, our religion. Do you get mm. it? The softens, somebody look, we need to understand something. Somebody can come to Islam not because of dawah. Mm. Somebody can come to Islam for, for crazy reason, bro. There was one woman I heard, she literally came to Islam because Abdurrahim Green was talking about Istinja, like cleaning yourself in the toilet. Now you might be thinking, how does that what what we're trying to see is that people can come to Islam for a variety of reasons. But if anybody, our premise is not that Islam, for example, is growing or is because of this because it's pragmatic and it's traditional values. That's that's an element to it. But Islam there, is the there's, truth. There's a distinction between the two pragmatism will get you into islam but yes. theology will keep you exactly. in islam exactly and that's what they they're saying okay uh, that's the reason andrew uh, came into islam but what's the reason that he stayed in islam Thank and you. in order to do that you need to look at his discussions and he goes into depth he talks about the theology he talks about um the, the issues he had with christianity he talks about his issues with atheism so this this assumption is is quite flawed exactly because the thing is here is that you need to understand let's say it was christianity that was very that like for example very traditional values they were not selling out their religion and having these individuals come and do all kind of stuff in the church if i was i could say 
you know, wow, they have traditional values. But the moment if I learn what the doctrine of the, the uh, mm. of Christianity is, bro, I'm not staying in that religion. Mm. Bro, when I was looking to, to a religion, the moment I heard, it just came to my ear for a split second that they believe that Jesus is God. Bro, I can remember that. Yes, I used to read the Bible. But I used to read the Bible, bro. And wallahi, the moment, and I never saw this in the Bible, by the Jesus being divine. Nowhere. Until I came across Christian Muslim debate. The moment I heard a Christian pastor debating Ahmadi that saying that he is the son of God or he is God, I was like, bro, you don't need to say anything else to me. Mm. You've said enough. Khalas, done. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So this guy, I think his name is Chase. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You need to understand something, my brother, if you're just watching this, that you keep saying Jesus is the truth and this, etc. We as Muslims, we believe in Jesus. We believe in his resurrection. We, believe, we honor his mother. We have a whole chapter of his mother. So the thing is, yeah, that you need to understand millions of people, and you've never seen this in history, bro. There is no uh, historical analysis or anything for that matter that millions of people leaving islam bro the past 10 years 15 years millions of christians have left their faith and thanks to atheists because they were attacking religion as a whole mm. but now what they do is they did is they took the faith from the christian christians and now muslims have come and given them the dawah so mm. the point is what islam's belief system is what bro we believe what in five gods one god the, what do you mean by one god because the christians say they're one so chase is going to ask you what's the difference between your monotheism and our monotheism because we believe in one god he's going to come and say no we believe god is one is also yeah but we believe that there's none worthy of worship besides god i.e there's no partner he has no weaknesses your first page of the bible talks about god created the earth and or the world in six days on the seventh day he took a rest we believe he doesn't sleep he doesn't slumber he doesn't have a son he's not required to send himself or his son to die for everybody's sins for blood so that's what we mean by monotheism that he's independent from anyone and anything mm -hmm. so to say that oh no he's uh, he needs to send down his son or he has to come and offer a blood sacrifice okay, or he needs dies. to do this or do, not needs or has no we we believe walam yakullahu kufun ahad there is none like him mm. Allahu ahad say he is god the one no mother no father no son no daughter and he's not requiring of anything that's the difference exactly just to add on like for example we have three aspects of tawhid 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 al rububiya tawhid uh, tawhid and tawhid al asma wa sifat and this is what distinguishes us from you guys so people who are watching this number one we single out allah and his lordship so we don't come and say that in the beginning jesus the prophet muhammad was with allah like they say for example in the beginning jesus was with the father but i thought he is the father anyways so the point is we single out allah in his lordship meaning he is the one who sustains provides for us and the one who controls all affairs without any need of anybody then we single him out in his ulahiya meaning that we single him out in worship and this is where every single other most religions fall into disbelief and this is why we say we are pure monotheism because when we ask God we ask him alone you do not see us saying that in the name of Muhammad peace be upon him and angel Gabriel and Allah no you guys do that you go to the idol worships they do that the Hindus do that many other religions do that we single out God in his worship meaning we acknowledge that he is the only one that deserves our worship and we worship him alone yeah that's what we say you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help and then when it comes to his names and his attributes we do not give we do not say that for example a creation is the all-knowing is the all-powerful or give certain names and weaknesses that the creation has to god almighty we don't come and say yeah god almighty for example the christians say he let go of his power and his knowledge when they asked him about the how hour mm. he became ignorant how could the all-knowing become ignorant so this is the difference my brother chase if you're watching this because you seem like a, you know a man who's maybe i've never seen you be hostile towards islam you know mm. and i think I, I i admire that the fact that you want to get about christianity but islam is the one true religion and i would say just because it's foreign to you don't push it away get to know it open embrace it and like Sneeko said I can't believe God is a man and came down and died bro simple logic A B C I mean that's it anything else you would like to add on yeah I mean that's the thing I mean there's, there's an assumption here that there's something that you're that you're bringing Tate towards one thing that's already highlighted which is what has Christianity got to offer in this uh, modern era like when it comes to LGBT when it comes to feminism when it comes to the family structure Christianity doesn't really have much to offer I would argue even when it comes to theology it doesn't have much to offer this is what we've been discussing throughout the video as well mm. so when you say oh we're bringing him back to Christianity what do you mean like t tell us what about Christianity are you bringing him back to like what does it have to offer yes exactly it doesn't have anything to offer when it comes to theology when it comes to practical real life implications and already we're running on a very low fuel tank so what else could it possibly be and you ask a small child in fact I would even say for, forget the small child a f small child can tell you the illogical nature of the trinity and, and the doctrine but which Christianity which sect 
What's the safe sect of Christianity? What aspect of Christian? Catholicism, Protestantism, yeah, Roman, Catholic, Anglican, which, which Christianity? Now he can come and see the same to us, Shia, this, that, but the difference is this bro. In Islam, most of these sects that we have, they all acknowledge something. Allah's oneness, Quran, final revelation, preserved. The Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. These denominations that you mentioned, they all bicker bro. They don't even know what the Bible is. They, they believe that there's different Bibles, like one Bible yes. has 70 books in it, another yes. Bible has 72 books. Also, so yeah. two yeah, extra yeah. books. Yeah. There's no sect that believes that, okay, mm. we've got this Quran and there's an extended version of the Quran. Of course, man, bro, their doctrine is all over the place. Like they don't have something concrete. But that's it. Uh, that's all I want to say. Hope you watch this video and opens your mind. Look, just read the Quran, man. Just give it a chance. You've got nothing to lose, you know. And Jesus is not a white man with blue eyes, by the way. If you, got, if you have this perception that he is some Western man, he's not. If you saw him today, you probably think he's a Muslim. That's all I have to say, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, thank you, Zishan, for accompanying me on this uh, thing. Uh, Come on. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as-salam.